Hello lovely people, sorry it's already kind of getting dark. So I did test quite a few of these little Chinese DSP amplifiers and all of them are extreme budget, very cheap like 150 pounds up to 200 pounds and I always wondered is there a difference between cheap stuff and Alpine stuff? So I did a full review of this DSP amplifier previously and this video is going to be a very quick one, just measurements, how this compares to all the cheap Chinese stuff and is it worth to pay a bit extra for the name brand Alpine. So let's have a look at the measurements. I do have quite a few measurements so just bear with me. Uh, let's start with, uh, I'm going to be comparing the Alpine R500 only the RCA outputs. I'm not going to be comparing the, I will show you the amplify outputs, but I will be comparing the RCA output against the recoil, which measured the worst out of the bunch that I had, and against the Senopo, which measured the best out of those budget DSPs. So if you remember, the recoil was the worst, then we have Nakamichi, then we have the Senopo, which is the best. The question is, the Sinopo, which cost like 150 pounds, whatever, uh, how does it compare to the Alpine that cost almost twice as much, like 300, 250 pounds? So is it worth paying more? So if, let's have a look. So this is the Sen, uh, recoil, which measured the worst on RCAs. If you can see uh, on the, D I'm going to be comparing DBR. So we have 62 uh, dB. Then the Senopo goes down to 77 lowest, which is much lower compared. So if we flip between these two, you can see that the level is way different. And now the Alpine, I didn't remember which one, RCA, there we go. The Alpine on RCAs, it goes down to 85, minus 85 dB. So against Senopo, no, uh, this one, 77 and 85 so you can see and if you compare like the harmonics and stuff on the Senopo you, you see here all these harmonics starts to rise so this is THD against level so it's not voltage is DBF as the signal level so you see all these harmonics here however on the Alpine you don't see much the only ones that you see is the second order and the third order and all the rest are buried in the floor noise and here you have all the orders one by one so you can see that alpine is much much cleaner and if you remember uh the 65 db was our kind of kind of threshold so the recall on minus 62 dbs uh, it doesn't perform good the Senopo, minus 77, which good, below 66. However, the Alpine is minus 85. If we check the percentage, this is 0.005% kinda here. So it's basically, basically transparent because it's transparent all the way up to like here, up to 0 0.05, and it makes clean power. So <laughs> only from this one single graph, uh, I can say that yes, Alpine is worth, it's worth the money. It's worth paying almost double the price compared to the Senopo. Yeah, it's much, much cleaner. Now, uh, this one is the amplifier section of the R500 DSP. So this DSP uses the same uh, amplifier chip as the recoil. Where is it? The recoil, it uses the same chip. However, uh, the ampli I couldn't test the recoil amplifier section. I know the reason, I'm gonna be testing it a bit later. However, what I wanted to compare is the recoil on RCAs, which is minus 62, against Alpine on the amplifier section, which is 69. So basically, there we go, let's put it here, and I'm gonna flip between two. 
So basically what you see here is that Alpine's built-in amplifier performs about 7 dB better than recoil RCAs. Imagine that. Yeah? which is very very cool so on the amplifier section we can check against the watts uh, alpine built-in amplifier if we take the percentage there we go just like that we can see that it's cleanest like up to what, six seven eight watts something like that maybe up to 10 watts it's the cleanest and then uh, we we shoot up to one percent thd this is amplifier section at 13 watts so it doesn't produce a lot of power but that power is very very clean like all the way up to 11 12 watts we have 0.08 percent thd which is amazing for an amplifier section and like this amplifier the built-in ampal alpine amplifier would be perfect for tweeters and mid-ranges because they need only about 10 watts of power is going to be plenty enough on normal listening levels and the thd is like look at like one two three watts you have 0 0.03 which is amazing performance we have multi-tone this is amplifier section same up to like two watts then it goes berserk but it's fine um THD versus frequency, very steady, no problems at all. Let's have a look at the recall just for comparison. Yeah, so the recall has, where is it? Let's go percentage. Something here, 0 0.08, whereas Alpine is 0 0.04, which is much, much. This is amplifier section. It's not RCAs. If we have a look at the RCAs, which is this there we go percent 0, 0.0 so this is, shows me a different number 0 0.07 which is ridiculous it's a very very good measuring dsp very good measuring now the main thing for me to test is going to be will this measure different from the 0850x is the 0850x is going to perform better because it is a higher tier dsp it has more channels but it's a higher tier but this measurement is amazing what i want to show you next is uh, so this is rcas let's have a look at r500 so this is rcas one kilohertz tone this is the senopo one kilohertz tone and this is the recoil one kilohertz tone so we can see straight away the recoil is like pff, almost 20 db worse and it just has random stuff happening at the low end it's nonsense and Sinopo, if you remember it measured quite good however if you compare these you can see that the Sinopo has so much noise at the top end like this is the alpine only and it has second third harmonic and this is pretty much it under 120 so second and third harmonic but it's still minus 95 db which is amazing the Sinopo has much much more noise on rcas so if we have a look at thd alpine has thd plus noise minus 87 the Sinopo has where is it goodness go away minus 78 so that's like 7 db difference between these two and the recoil is minus 65 which is yeah but yeah look how clean this is this is mega clean on the rcas now let's have a look at the multitone so multitone is like this for the alpine the Sinopo, which measures the second best, it's very similar. However, you can see that it has more noise. Man, I'm looking at this one. It should be DBR. There we go. Yeah. So we can see that it has much more noise. 
and noise floor is higher as well by like 10 dB or so. This is Senopo. Look at the recoil. Yeah. So recoil is very similar to Senopo. However, it has more noise at the bottom end and a bit less. So the Senopo on the multitone is a bit noisier uh, on the top end. Yeah, but Alpine, look at that. It's so much cleaner compared to those, which is amazing. Now, if we compare the Bluetooth, again, uh, R500 RCA and R500 Bluetooth. Yeah, Bluetooth is bad. It's pretty bad on the multitone. And we have the same on the one kilohertz. It's pretty bad, but it's nothing compared to uh, recoil and stuff. It is bad. It has much, uh, a lot of floor noise. However, you can see there's no harmonics, basically. All the harmonics is in the floor noise hidden. So with Bluetooth, it's still very, very clean compared to others. Yeah, like recoil. Yeah, so recoil on RCAs and Alpine on Bluetooth on the bottom end is much cleaner. It's kind of the same. And the difference is that uh, the Alpine doesn't have any harmonics, basically. It's all hidden in the floor noise. So yeah, I'm, I'm extremely, extremely surprised that this Alpine measures so, so good. This is again, amplifier section, multi-tone, up to two watts, 1%, three watts, which is again, very, very good. Very low noise, very low noise on the amplifier section with, so this is the amplifier section, yeah? And we have, yeah, higher floor noise, more harmonics. So this is RCAs. Uh, no, so this is amplifier section on analog signal, and this is Bluetooth signal. So for some reason on Bluetooth, you have a higher floor noise, but you have less harmonics, which is kind of surprising, which means that Bluetooth works kind of, kind of good. Actually, DBR. Oh shit. Yeah, I was checking the wrong one. So Bluetooth, yeah, Bluetooth has much higher floor noise and harmonics are hidden kind of in the floor noise. But with the multitone, this is amplifier. Yeah, the Bluetooth on multitone is for some reason on all amplifiers works very, very bad. But analog is just amazing. So in conclusion, uh, yes, it is worth to pay more for the Alpine DSP compared to the cheaper alternatives such as Synop and stuff, even if it costs like, me personally, even if it costs like twice as much, I would still pay more just because you can use that amplifier, the Alpine inbuilt amplifier. You can easily use it for mids and tweets because with this low distortion on 10 watts is going to be perfect for that. So yeah, cool. I think that's it. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.